And I don't think fighting is... Like, the thing with fighting is... Like I said, I don't think... It ma I don't think it matters in the overarching story. I know I'm taking a long time to make this decision. I apologize. But, like... Wow, I just forgot what was going, where it was going. The problem is that we don't know if they're going to be, like... Like, yeah, they're coming over, but we don't know for sure that 100% they considered us the enemy. They know that we were loyal to House Stark and all that stuff, but, like... Hmm... If only I was paying attention to what uh, Ramsey was saying when I was playing the other guy, that could make an easier decision. Let's try diplomacy. Although Sir Royland may object, I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. Mm -hmm. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one I think we should out. be ready for a fight, but be diplomacy. Sort of diplomacy. Made his opinion known, and you will respect That's the thing. Decision. You have the guards ready. Have everyone Forgive able. Us, we are, of course, here to serve you. Then we can negotiate first. Your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, oh. lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? God damn, are you serious? Like, I don't think Ramsay will let us get away with showing off our force at the gates being more inviting seems to make more sense to me but if we invite them in and he turns out to be a complete dick which he kind of is then we just allow them to be inside like the keep and stuff and then he can just like slaughter everyone but the thing is if we force him to way at the gates that might piss him off and then he will slaughter everyone so we have a better chance at surviving if we keep him at the gates. If he decides to slaughter us no matter what. I feel like whichever choice I choose, someone's going to die. And it's going to be a different person dying, depending on the choice. I think we should be courteous to them. Show that we are accepting and want to make peace. And not trying to be, uh, like aggressive or hostile against them making them way at the gates basically shows that we don't trust them or we, we don't like we basically don't want to make peace and we decided for diplomacy and if we're trying to make peace it doesn't make sense to force someone way at the gates with like an army waiting you know i will meet him in the great hall it's careless can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong you'll lead us into ruin I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it my, is my lord, that's what you should be saying. You know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the see, house. You, you see here, I should have made Duncan the sentinel since I agree with his diplomacy plans, right? Here's what I think happens. I think I think my, my sentinel lord, is going to die. You have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. What? How's it indecisive? Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. 
But what's more, he has the will to fight, a hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Uh. Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. That's why I went to Essos in the first Asher place, right? Is volatile. But that is his strength too. Sounds like the bad cop to me. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How no. he tormented you? I don't. I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in mm. danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but that is dangerous. That anger inside you. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. Mm. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. I guess no one believes in diplomacy, eh? I don't disagree with I'm trying to do that. What's best for this bringing family. him back. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Wait. <sighs> See, the thing is, like. It seems like a lot of people are automatically assuming that this is going to devolve into, like, a bloodbath. Even though we just agreed to diplomacy. And the thing is... Uh, from what from what I remember, Ramsey's going to be arriving in a, uh, a day or so. And that is not enough time to uh, send Malcolm to Essos. Essos, whatever, however you pronounce it. Find the brother, then bring the brother back. That is not enough time for that. And if you assume that Ramsey's gonna, like, start a fight. Like, when he gets here. Then we need every able-bodied man, like Malcolm, to uh, help fight and protect, right? Because I feel like... Here's my prediction to how this episode's gonna end, or one of the episodes... Ramsey's just gonna kill everyone. And I've sent Malcolm to Essos. He's gonna bring back the brother. And the brother, uh, Asher or whatever his name is, he's gonna be one of the characters we will uh, see the perspective of. And maybe he's gonna try for revenge, since as we understand, he's uh, unpredictable, volatile, and all that business. Um, he's gonna be out for revenge. That's how I see things. And if I keep Malcolm here, I think Asher is gonna come back no matter what. How the situation goes... That's my prediction. But let's send him to Essos. Fine, Fine save Malcolm his life. Will go to Essos and bring Asher back. It's gonna be Red Wedding Part 2, I swear. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. So you're supposed to be with us and she may his be mother. To help us yet. I feel like their interaction is a little bit like... Doesn't seem like a, a mother and son kind of relationship, you know? Anyways, I've given my predictions. Oh god, I really don't give a shit about your storyline. Strange key. Great examination, man. Tyrell family seal. I can fake a message, is what they're basically telling me right now. Uh, really, just those two? I don't... What does this pick up? Does it mean take it? Okay. I don't want... Alright. So this is uh, Marjorie's chambers. We already got in her... Uh, her to help us. I feel like taking her shit is probably the least appropriate thing to do, especially when you try to are trying to build up trust and stuff. I'm gonna keep the key here. I don't wanna take anything. Nope. Don't wanna fake a message Marjorie? or anything. 
Oh. <laughs> Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. It's part of the Tyrell family. I want family. to help you there's if nothing... there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Since she knows everything, I keep her in good graces. Saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Mm -hmm. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever. Can't antagonize anyone, especially the ones who know. Because we don't want them to leak out the information. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? Is this supposed to be me, lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. Of course. Of course, Joffrey wouldn't help. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's Again? nothing you can do, Mira. Gotta suck up. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. Just go seduce Joffrey in his chambers at night again. That should actually this work. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. You are Marjorie Tyrell, one of like Soon I will the pop be queen, like, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. The more pop, uh, now, God damn it! Now, give her time to both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Like you are the Tyrell. You're part of the Tyrells, one of the more powerful families in uh, Westeros or whatever, from what I understand. She. My lady. She not be worried at all. Oh my god, this dirty piece of shit. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Why have you been long. waiting there? I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. Mm -hmm. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I don't remember what he said about them at all. I just want you to know. I I can help you if you'd like. You're a fucking cold boy. Really what me. can you do? I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Mm. Which is why you must trust me, m'lady. You need Why help. are you so inclined to help? Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. Why? By being creepy? <laughs> I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... Who do you know? Like... You have not done well. To help you. Who do you know? What the hell? Why is he so willing to help? I don't get it. If he said anything uh, during the first scene of this uh, chick, I don't actually remember anything. <laughs> oh man. Where the bloody hell is Duncan? He should be here. Now ah, fuck him if he's angry. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to mm. act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. So dead. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? <laughs> Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Oh my god. Pinewood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Middle lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the you, Warden Lord. of the that's enough. 
His head is a little bit big on the big side. Boy? Is he lost? Offer bread and May salt. I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay. I loathe bread and salt. Oh man. Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this look at you. A token for the new warden of the north. Totally need to know the shield. Forrester Iron. This guy has plot armor. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. He fought off like fucking Iron. uh doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match us. He fought off like a bunch of Greyjoys. So <laughs> half naked. Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this. Mm-hmm. Apparently. We are the only people who can do this. Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out here, I can see you. Yeah. The kid, the little kid. Come on, you're being rude. Force him to focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay. I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. Mm-hmm. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Again? Lord Bolton. It seems Lord like the... <laughs> the... Words are wind. Why would I refuse? Anyone can say they're loyal. Remember, do what you must, not how you feel. Ha! Or that whatever. Wasn't so hard now. Was it? Nope. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. Mm -hmm. The crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father is You are the wardens now. The king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a Forester. They murdered our men. Oh, get it over was it. Forrester Squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. Oh, I didn't really want to say what? that. He killed a loyal soldier of uh, um, father's army. That's not quite what I wanted to then say. you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal family. Oh my god. I did not really want to say that. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. Oh my god. Duncan's probably gonna what die. Else? We'll be taking control of your ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You kind of can. You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen oh, who make the finest weapons. Uh... The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? I don't think I don't think Ramsey cares. Our little Lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord, half of something is better than the nothing. I think if I before. didn't kneel, it would we would actually sure be in a better position. No trouble. Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of. Twenty men within your walls. I think Ramsay will like the feistiness. That we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make it will sure cause trouble no if we don't tr there's no trust. trust. This will cause more trouble, not less. There's no trust between not them. For me. Don't you have a man you trust? My son, Griff. 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 We lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. This is gonna just gonna cause tension. Do make this visit worthwhile. 
Please, Sir Royland, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? <sighs> Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Someone's gonna die before the end. Lord Ethan's older sister. I'm his twin, my lord. Twin? Oh, twin. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. <laughs> I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. No, we don't. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn war. Uh, Lord Ramsay, that's enough. God damn it. Do you like hunting? Let her go. Kind of want to see what happens She's if I. Pretty, your sister. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. I suppose you can stay. See, he likes the feistiness. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, <laughs> no! What have you done? No! But I don't want a bold lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Did I lose? Ethan! 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 My lord! Oh, no! Even though you did bend the knee. My son. I think we come to an Oh, my God. I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Ethan. Oh, come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Ryan! Take the boy as your ward. Oh, oh, my God. Kill him if they give you any trouble. Ryan! Now, could that have been prevented, is my question. Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Please stop! Don't let him take go. me! You will not take stop him! No, please! Ryan, please! No! no. no. Ryan! Do something! Ethan? Oh, my son. Holy shit. Well, I guess being a little bitch didn't work out. Oh, man. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. <laughs> oh, my God. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Touchdown! Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Oh my god. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Hype. Oh my god. See, this this makes me wanna... I wanna know if I could have prevented his death. The thing with the way, from what I understand, these games work, um, based on what I've seen from The Walking Dead um, game, from watching Let's Plays, is that Generally, minor, like, when you when characters die, you can't really prevent their deaths. You might be able to prevent their deaths for, like, a couple scenes or whatever, but then they end up dying anyways, usually, from what I noticed. And, I don't know. Um, like Ramsey said, he did not really, um, he does not like bold lords, so... Um, based on what I learned from watching um, Mira in King's Landing, you basically gotta act like a complete pussy and suck up to the the ones who are more powerful than you at the moment to uh, appease them. Doing that to Ramsey was a bad idea, and now uh, Ethan is dead. What a shame. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't... It's not like... Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. I think he would have died regardless of what happened. The question is, 
Uh, Duncan? Where the hell was he? Eh? Yeah. Alright. So, me and majority of people <laughs> left the uh, Bowen, which I think was that one uh, buddy buddy squire in the beginning. Yeah. 73.8% sword loyalty to the king, of course. 41.5% sent Eric to the wall. That's a huge percentage, because that was uh, split between three choices, right? Send him to the wall, give him mercy, or cut off his fingers. Mm-hmm. And like I thought, the way the game was telling the story, they were trying to make uh, us pick Duncan as a sentinel, and uh, yeah, majority of people picked uh, Duncan as a sentinel. But majority of uh, people agreed with me in meeting Ramsey in the Great Hall. Hmm. The thing is, I think we were, were left in a... Uh, actually, let's just click continue first. Okay, it's credits. Okay. I think, even though, unfortunately, uh, Ethan is dead... I think we were left in a slightly stronger state than if I chose the other option of uh, meeting them at the gates or fighting them or whatever. Because if we fought them, that meant uh, instead of just being like 20 white hills or whatever the hell they are, uh, being stationed in the, uh, in the house. Instead, um, like I think if we tried to fight them, it would have just been a massacre and it would have been like white hills taking over completely. And the only issue with, ha with, with the way this ended is that it basically means, like, uh, the mother and, you know, the, the sister and all those people are going to be, like, kind of like hostages in, like, a hostage-like situation. And that's the one issue I can see. But I think if we try to fight them, it wouldn't have ended well at all. I don't, I don't know. Kind of interested in trying out different... Um, scenarios but uh, for the sakes of the let's play we're keeping to the decisions i make permanently whether i made a mistake or regretted my choices i am not gonna go back and change them we're just gonna go forward and yeah so uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the let's play i'm continually trying to like improve like things like the quality the volume settings i'm trying to make sure you know there's a good balance between my mic and the game Hopefully I can. Hopefully I, I've been doing good in that regard. But uh, in terms of let's plays, I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna be able to regularly do let's plays on this channel. So if you want more, um, what I will guarantee is I'm gonna try my best to do let's play for every episode of uh, of this. So um, yeah, let's, let's sign in. I don't remember my password. I'm going to finish doing uh, the, the series as they come out. Uh, I'm not sure when the second episode is coming out. Is this going to tell us? Um, wow, I successfully signed in. Wow, thanks. Totally explained things. Dang. I'm assuming this is Asher, right? Anyways, I guess final words. Um, I will do uh, the episodes as they come out, but we're done with episode one. Episode two is coming soon, apparently. I'm not sure how soon that is. Um, there's six episodes, right? Yeah. So I'll do the episodes as they come out. But uh, for now, I am done. Uh, I'm not sure what other Let's Plays I'll be doing. Probably not many, since I'll be uh, focusing on League of Legends uh, now. And uh, as you guys may or may not know, I am a League of Legends uh, player. I am a Diamond 1 League of Legends player, pretty high up there. And uh, I stream pretty regularly and stuff like that. So, probably be too focused on that to do Let's Plays. But whatever, done rambling. We'll be back for episode 2. Leave your angry comments below. And uh, I don't usually do this but i'm gonna have to start uh, soliciting people now to us uh, please subscribe if you want uh, to see more and all that stuff 
But uh, for now, I am Rainpony, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys for episode 2.